I'm Jocelyn Lee Langron and I live in San Francisco. Um, actually, my literary agent, because I'm in Kitlit, uh, and she sometimes just send me contests or, you know, activities to participate and she referred me to this amazing opportunity. I always want to do public art. I always wanted to, ever since I started doing illustration, it's always, um, you know, a dream to be able to showcase your work to public. And so when opportunities like this come up, I just jump in, <laughs> yes. But not with hope that I would get in or anything. So it was really a, really a happy surprise. I would like to think forever, <laughs> but um, I started out as a designer. I went to school for visual design. So I, I start my career as a visual UI designer doing web design, app design. Um, but then truly like for pursuing illustration, I think really is 2015 and 16. That's when I start just, you know, take a break from working in front of computer and really um, start creating things with my hands again. And, um, and then later on, I got into digital painting with my iPad. Usually when I have a project, um, you know, I keep myself, you know, sit with a few days with the ideas, brainstorming with ideas. Um, I split my time 50 and 50 from the home studio um, and coffee shop outside. It's like basically my second home. I'll just go out there and just, you know, sketching ideas on paper and then, uh, and then start sketching on uh, my iPad and draw them. A lot of times, actually, I just draw for myself, my own pleasure, you know, like a therapy for me. And I just, you know, whatever happens in the moment and whatever fun or, you know, anything that I feel. And I just like to, you know, put it down in drawing and share it on Instagram. Just it's a great outlet just, you know, for self-love. That's what I like to think. Yeah. I try to think about, you know, what San Francisco means to me, because as a whole, I'm sure there are so many, you know, I try to Google online, what is the, you know, hidden gems of San Francisco, and I've only been to a few of them, but I try to, you know, put the experience back to me, what do I, you know, how San Francisco, what is San Francisco to me, being only here for, you know, a few years. Uh, Working with the poet is um, is very creatively challenged uh, for me because I've never done anything like this before. It has always just been me working on my own stories, working with my own thoughts, own idea, and and uh, you know having English not being my first language and interpretate and you know someone else's poet. How can I do it right? How can I you know you know bring out like what they. Uh, truly want to you know convey through their, their words because I realized it wasn't really to literally interpret what they say but how does that make me feel and how it, you know what story it bring it to me and from there I try to you know kind of combine my own personal experience you know and try to bring in a little bit you know more magic and wonder into those words and you know hopefully when when people you know, read the poem and see the art, you know, you get able to take them out of the place a little bit and bring them a little, I don't know, smile. <laughs> Sounds cheesy, but just something like that on, the, on their way to work. I thought that would be, that's pretty cool.